Right guys, how's it going? So let's do a preview of the week ahead for Euro USD, and also we'll do a review of the previous week, what just happened. So um, starting off with the previous week, let's just jump into this real quickly and just kind of review what I was expecting to happen. Now, because, uh, let's look at the right hand chart, this is the four hour chart. Um, yes, we're in a strong move down, um, but we have shown signs recently that we might be looking to reverse. I identified at the wrong point um, towards the back end of last week that my order block was actually in the wrong place, okay, looking at the daily. Okay, so just going to switch this to the daily quickly. I identified originally this blue candle as my order block when actually it should have been from the base to the top, which is what I've always said, but for some reason I just got supply and demand in my head and thought, yeah, this is going to be the one. Well, turns out it's not. <laughs> so we came in tapped into this order block i wouldn't call this like a full mitigation but sometimes you know it just needs a little tap in um and we started to show the reversal patterns working our way down so drop into the four hours i was expecting possibly even though we'd had the reversal patterns form i think this had just happened um or maybe it did towards yeah it was around about here but basically I said I wasn't too sure whether or not to take this as a wick break or a, a solid break, but I was kind of expecting the market to continue upwards and use this as a kind of fake out. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> so I also, um, another area which I want to point out where I was wrong with was this part. So right at the very top of here, I did identify a bit of a, a gap slash imbalance. So between this candle and this candle up here, but I really didn't like this slope. All right, so let's move on to the 15 minute chart just to identify this. I didn't like this sort of slopey price action. Now, of course, this is where the trades came into the market. This is where the, um, where the supply came in. But, and I even pointed out this little, um, this little gray candle. I even pointed this out and said, no, I'm just not confident on it. I just don't think it would be strong enough to hold. Well, boy, was I wrong. All right, I was completely wrong. Um, and it's it's fine to admit that you know it's I spotted you know the liquidity here knew this would just get swept straight out. So looking on the right hand chart, you know the four hour just got taken out real easy. I thought that if the gap um, and imbalance was to be taken, probably be around the halfway point. Which looking over on the four hour, it did. You know it happened just exactly what I was expecting. Um, came in, fed us down a little bit, a fair bit. Got into a few trades which were okay. I was waiting on one which. Um, I think I'll tell you what I think I was stopped out of this one. I kept it on, just kept that one on. Got stopped out. Um, bit of a nuisance. A uh, couple of trades I didn't get entered into, um, and then this big one. Oh my days! I didn't get into this, but I just marked it on my charts just to see whether or not um, <sighs> whether or not I'd have been able to get in. Now on the one minute, yeah, I would have been able to get in. And frustratingly, what what I've done is I've drawn a little trend line. It would be really hard to see. Um, but I've just drawn a trend line from the very top of this wick. Okay, so that was a massive news event. Um, and it literally, literally tapped into that white candle, which I said, no, I'm just not, just not confident on it. And that's okay, you know, because it fits my plan. This would not be, this wouldn't stand. Okay, so the imbalance was between here and here. Um, you know, theoretically, yes, maybe this should have been marked up, but I didn't like the prior price action. I said, you know, if price was to breach this, it would just go all the way through, but it didn't. <laughs> and what happened? We got, oh my days, I tried to get in. Um, we had basically a, how many pips is that? 270 pip sell off. And frustratingly, I tried to catch us on the way down where was it i did get stopped out somewhere uh, see if it's easily identifiable on the 15 minute i did take a stop and it was like ah, oh, why did i even do that um oh it was down here it was a bit further all right so it's this one down here here Right, so I was watching on the one minute. As you guys know, I do the one minute, I do the tit chart. Um, and for some reason, again, you know, following my plan, which is fine. So, you know, I shouldn't be so hard on myself. Um, but the imbalance, not the imbalance, but basically the daily order block is right here. 
and I decided to go on the 15 minute. Tell you what, just make it a little bit easier. We literally just got a tap, um, you know, fraction of a pip, 0.1 pips or whatever, um, just a tap. So I dropped down to the one minute and then I dropped onto the tick chart on my phone um, and I got in the trade and I was flying high. I was flying high for about, I don't know, half an hour. Looked away from my phone, expecting that we were going to go up to you at least here um, and then possibly up to here. So I was really expecting a good move. Um, it wasn't a 3.2 pip stop. It was like a 0.2. You know, it was a stupid, like, you know, I, I wouldn't recommend that to any beginner, um, but it was a ridiculously low stop loss. Got in perfect entry. Um, <laughs> and yeah, looked at my phone again, expecting to see something like take profit, maybe not take profit, but I was expecting to see it in the green. And uh, it said stop loss. <laughs> and not only was it stop loss, when I looked at how much I'd lost, I was down 3R, okay? So the amount of slippage or the velocity in this move, it pulled me right out, okay? So it was like a 0 0.6 or a 0 0.7 um, stop. Oh, my days. Really, really frustrating. So what we're, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna tidy up the charts and look at what we can get for next week. Um, Yes, it's nice to have all of this, but I always try to tidy it up, okay? So start afresh for the following week. I would recommend um, doing that as well. We're gonna replace some of the stuff on here, but not all of it. But you can just see how I do this, all right? So I just grouped everything. I've gone over to this object tree bit. And just add a little group. So just group them together. And then I just rename it. So that was a uh, week commencing 22. Oh, six dot oh six. I think let's have a quick look. Yeah, it was. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's just close that off. See, all gone, but not gone forever, if that makes sense. Because if I need it again, I could just go back to it. All right, so super, that's gone and it's cleared it from this chart from the 15 minute. So, as per usual, let's go into the daily. All right, so if you're new to the channel, I'll just say it as well, um, please do subscribe and like the video if you do like it. Uh, there is gonna be quite a lot more coming up in the future. I'm just struggling with uh, a lot of time management at home at the moment, so my upload hasn't been too routine. Um, and I am creating a, um, I hate to call it like a training course, because it's not really, it's just a, a kind of like coaching to be able to trade alongside me, ask me a ton of questions. So I've created a Discord group um, I haven't launched it yet. Again, I'm just trying to sort out my scheduling at home, but I'll put a link in the, um, in the comment section or in the description box and, you know, just, just register your details. I will get back to everybody. Um, there's been, I don't know, about 200 people who have entered so far, which I'm really grateful for and blown away by. Um, so, you know, please do put your details in there because when it is launched for everybody, it, it would be cool. You know, we'll, we'll help each other grow. Okay. Um, I'm not, I just want to point out as well. I am not a guru. I am no, I am not the best trader in the world. Um, but, and you know, I'm still trying to maximize everything out of my trades, which is why in live trading in comparison to back testing, I get a lot more losses. And partially that's because a little bit of ego, I suppose. Um, and I'm trying to get like, you know, as I pointed out a 0 0.2 stop loss. Whereas this week I am going to, I will use the one, the one minute, but really I won't be using order blocks less than the 15 minute because looking back at my losses, that's where the majority of my losses come in when I use an order block of the five minute or the one minute. Um, so this week, something that I'm going to try to improve on is only use 15 minute order blocks along with the four hour on a daily. So first of all, what we've done is we've already got these key areas marked out and these still stand, okay, to an extent. We've got strong order flow moving downwards and I'm just pointing out the key sort of swing areas. I don't really know what else to describe them as. They are just swing areas, okay? But because we have had a little bit of a break here, even though it's only to a wick, I'm just gonna mark this out as well. Uh, put that on there as the one wick structure. I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to, to wick structure, see what happens after it, because I'm pretty sure they tend to reverse a lot. And then what we have as well is, yeah, we got 
a wick of that and then we got a body break of this all right so this is all internal this is what i've just drawn out here this is internal um actually between here and here okay but that's not wicked so i'm just going to put that on Ooh, it's not h4 over uh, d1 just call it structure right so it would indicate to me that price is now just going to continue down all right so we had this mitigation slight mitigation of this final order block um on the way back up because if we look at the full structure we've got a least to here i would call this one the key structure because this is where the the huge move down started so if we go back and we look at our premium versus discount it's around about the 50 percent mark where this all started all right and if i drag this over it'll probably be quite close to the 50 percent uh yeah we literally just moved over to 50 percent uh, right there so yeah valid point valid place for it to reverse from so chances are i'm now seeing it as a way of we've grabbed a little bit of liquidity up here we might come back up grab some more liquidity and work our way down but in reality look at the size of these candles they might just carry on going down all right so that's what i'm banking on i've said to quite a few people i just don't see the euro improving against the us dollar um, you just gotta look at the fundamentals sometimes um Oh, one of the reasons as well why I got stopped out of that trade uh, and I decided to go long rather than short is I stupidly didn't look at red news. All right. So it was red news. It wasn't a red news, which I'd have stood back from and gone like, whoa, OK. Um, but yeah, it it tore me apart. <laughs> so, right, let's just draw on again the key areas because this might still be relevant. So D1, so daily. And I did expect to see something with this one. If, you know what, if it was going to continue um, upwards like this, I would have expected a reaction to this, this like indecision inside bar and then continue up. But because we haven't had that and we've broken through um, and this doesn't all look amazing to me, it looks like price might continue its way down. I'm also going to mark out this whole candle, even though this is the bullish candle, um, this is where all the orders start going in. Okay, so the orders to push the market straight up. So I am quite keen to know what happens when price gets down to here. So I'm just going to set a um, set an alert on here, even though it's on a daily. And we can see that this could happen, you know, in the next day, considering the size of these candles lately, which is really good. Lots of volatility, uh, volatility, and good opportunities to make money. All right. So they're just the key areas. I truly believe that price is just going to bounce between there and there. So at the moment, just on the daily, if I was trying to enter on the daily, now wouldn't be the best time to enter because we're right in the middle of a range. Um, and if we look as well, uh, just at our premium versus discount, let me change this again. Because we're working our way down, we're now past the 50% mark. I could look um, realistically at going long but we've had the reversal pattern. It looks like price is going to continue down. So my bias on the daily is down. Okay. So let's just um, I'll tell you what. Let's let's write this in. Um, bias daily down. All right. And then we can do the four hour as well, and so on and so forth. All right. So I just put that over there. Uh, let's look at is there anything else as well, which is standing out to me potentially. Just the wick of this. All right, maybe the wick. We did have, there's a bit of imbalance between here and here, but that was kind of filled by this. Yeah, maybe the wick. Um, I'll keep that on there for the time being. We might change that up when we drop down to the lower time frames. All right. So let's start by doing the four hour. Yeah, so that imbalance was filled here and there. Uh, and this doesn't look that appealing anymore. I'm going to take it off. All right, keep my charts nice and clean because that was a giant, um, don't even know what to call that white candle, like a kind of doji, I don't know, with long, long body as well. So I just want to try and find key areas now where price could potentially reverse from. I am expecting it to continue down. Um, I don't feel great removing that now. 
That was the liquidity sweep to take out for from up there. For the time being, I'm actually going to have to make that box bigger. I'm actually going to have to do that whole, that whole candle. And if we're to work our way back up, I'm very curious to know what's going to happen here. Okay, so I'm going to go from the base. Um, let's try and make these a little bit bigger to make it clearer for you. All right, so we're going to go from the base of the reversal. So let's check the, just looking up here to the low. So that is 6113, 6111. So this is the lower one. So from the low to the high, we're going to mark that out as H1. I've really simplified this as well, by the way. Just I used to have loads. Now, what's the point? I just want to know that as the H4. So if I'm on like the 15 minute, for example, oh yeah, it's a H4 order. Well, okay, cool. When it comes into here on the 15, I want to see what happens. Um, and that's going to also make me want to set a alert on here as well. H4. So when the alert goes off, hopefully I should be able to start watching the 15 minute, see if we get some sort of reversal um, or reversal pattern and go for it and just continue its way down. So obviously, if we're to look at this again, um, sorry, I've done that the wrong way around. It's pretty much on the 50% mark of this leg. So I really like the 50% it's usually where the action happens. So I would expect something to happen here. Um, it might not, but it's always good to be prepared with a few potential scenarios. All right, so that's probably the four hour. It's not that exciting. Um, obviously we've got this epic candle right here, which hasn't really had anything happen. Apart from there is some imbalance right there, uh, imbalance on the four hour, which means that this inside bar is really quite intriguing but we are miles away from it. You know, we could have a, another instance like this, but you know, if we do start working our way up, um, you know what, for everyone else's sake, let's just, let's just do this as well. I may have had this on my charts before, but I took it off. Let's put that in as imbalance. Um, might as well put in H4 as well. which means that it may go to the 50% mark of the imbalance or it may come up into this into this inside bar order block. Um, I'm not a fan of these inside bar order blocks. Um, there is a more detailed video on order blocks compared to what I've done on YouTube um, within the Discord group, but I don't like this format. You know, whether or not it comes up to it and reverses from is irrelevant. Um, I just don't like it. They don't, they don't tend to hold very well. Um, even though there's imbalance underneath. I'll go into a lot more detail. Um, so yeah. Right, so that's probably it for the four hour. There's only up here and potentially here. Uh, there's, it is really quite clean at the moment. There's huge gaps at the moment. Um, so a huge gap right there. So there's some imbalance right there. And the imbalance here, I actually think has been taken. So even though there's a big gap between there and there, I think that the imbalance has been taken already. So if it gets past here, it should be a clean run up to here. Um, all right, cool. Should we try the one hour? I don't normally trade off the one hour to be fair. No, we're not going to. Let's move everything over to the 15 minute over on the left hand side. Okay, so we're also expecting, um, that's right on here as well. Where is it? Bias daily down. Uh, H4 down. Right, let's go to the 15. Is there anything which really stands out to us as a potential reversal point? And the key areas which I'm looking at is over here, here, and we're going to look at this bottom one, okay? As well as this imbalance, which was on the H4. All right, so big imbalance here on H4, but on the 15, you can see clearly that stuff is has happened. All right. So, um, just having a quick look at the video length. All right. I don't want to make this too long. If we see this as a pullback down to here, probably done it wrong way. No, I haven't done it right this time. There to there again, the 50% mark. So I am very eager to look at what's going to happen when price gets to here. 
this would be one where I would drop down to the 15 minute. All right, so, uh, sorry, down to the one minute. I am, um, I'll tell you what, this week I will not end off the tick chart. All right, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, what's happening to me, 15. All right, I will not enter off the tick chart because I get tempted when I'm on my broker feed. It's only my broker feed where I can get it. Um, and it is rapid, it's extremely rapid and there's a lot of false signals. Um, so yes, I get multiple, like when I say multiple, I mean multiple stop outs when it happens. Um, but when you do get in, you're onto a massive winner within about I don't know, a minute. So let's have a look. I'm not overly keen on this. I'm not overly keen and the reason for that is we've had a rebalance of uh, let's try and draw this on or change the uh yeah so we've got a rebalance of this low here with this being taken it also takes it from takes li liquidity is what i'm talking about by the way takes it from that wick which is cool and the other area is there to there so that's a perfectly balanced market so realistically the only point which i would be interested in hmm, i was going to say this but there is an inside bar there as well so just the whole area okay but i'm going to keep this drawn on just need to change these oh change these to the 15. i know what they all look like they're all they're all slightly different um but i know what they all look like when i'm on my phone so there we go right so not particularly interesting in this area uh because it's rebalanced yeah, there is a, a strong order flow coming down from these, obviously. But let's see when we get there. All right, we've already got an alert set there anyway. These I don't like because there is wicks. There is, there are wicks. Liquidity, where is it? And you know what? Yeah, that's a 15 minute and it's a rebalance. All right, so put the rebalance on. And that is actually rebalance. And then working our way up on the 15. Just going to see what has been swept here. Yeah, so it's this whole candle here. All right, so this is the breaking candle. Oh, this one. And this is where we can take it from a uh, H4 or daily. Ooh. Yep, so that's a H4 and we've been able to refine it down to a 15, all right? And that's essentially what I do to try and get a cleaner order block. Might be completely wrong, might lead into absolutely nothing. Oh, and you know what? It turns out that it is just, um, it is just the wick. Yeah, you see there on the four hour? And I was like, oh, should it just be the wick? Should it, should it be the whole body? Turns out that it's just the wick. So yeah, okay, cool. Happy with that. Happy to, I'll tell you what, it's still relevant to an extent. Oh no, and there's a gap here as well. And a gap there. All right, it might even come up to this final candle right there. <clears throat> so this whole area is still relevant, but I'm just going to move the alert to actually being inside of it. I wouldn't be comfortable going short around here i'd want to see a little bit more all right so that is really kind of it um i really want to go on to a lower time frame for you guys but i've promised everyone i'm keeping that for the discord side of things um it's kind of the same so you know you're not missing out on on a huge amount so predictions of where we're going to go i might be completely wrong with this but i do think that we start to slow down a little bit naturally because it was the end of the week. I have an alert in my phone. I've had it in there for over a, over a year now. Beware of the Friday sell-off. Um, there's always a sell-off on it. Well, not always, but most Fridays, it seems like there's a huge sell-off. Um, and on my, my days, like clearly right here, there was a huge sell-off. Uh, so if I was to be able to build up momentum for another Friday sell-off, I would like to see something along the lines of working our way to here and continue down, work our way into um, 
this area. Let's go back to the four hour. The thing is, are we gonna continue all the way down, just shoot through here? And if we do, we've got to look even further back on the chart, which is no problem. I'll probably do like a, let me know actually, if you want like a midweek follow up to this. Um, I was gonna do it this week, but I just ran out of time. There's a, a few things which we could have. We could have just a, a complete sell off down to there, or we could have maybe like a, a zigzag movement down. And if it's a zigzag, and then we get like a nice little break. I'd expect us to work our way up a little bit, just ignoring all of these and just shoot up because we've had our liquidity grab over here effectively. It's grabbed the liquidity out of that. So if we do work our way up, I would expect us to get into the, the D1 and really into this candle there. Uh, or what we could have is instead of it just going, instead of it just going down straight away, we could, oh my days, what am I doing? We could start working our way into this area, which is around about the 50% of this current leg before shooting down again, because we'll create some sort of ascending channel, which you normally get a, a huge sell off from. Um, same as if we get a descending channel, we normally get a huge push from. So, um, but yeah, that's just, that's how I'm marking up my charts for this week ahead. Uh, let me know if it's similar to what you do or not. Um, I know that my stuff's quite squiffy sometimes, bit of a weird word, might've just made that up. Um, and it's just a little bit different. I have been asked lately, uh, whether or not I've taken training from someone called ICT. Not once. Um, I looked at about 15 minutes of his video and I couldn't stand it. So I stopped and that was about two months ago. So no, I haven't. This is all self-taught, which is why it's possibly a little bit different from others that you'll see, but my accuracy is usually pretty damn good. Um, but yeah, guys, if you've liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, yeah, uh, oh, I completely forgot to say, almost forgot to say, I've got an absolute game changer coming for you. An absolute game changer. I know you like what you're seeing with, with this at the moment, but trust me, like, I don't know when it's going to come out, probably in a week's time or two weeks time, but you're going to need to be subscribed to get the alert for that because trust me, it will improve your trading 10 times over. I can promise that. Um, yeah, you want to stick around for that. I'm also going to, yeah, okay. I'm not going to reveal too much. I'm going to leave it at that. All right. Cheers guys. Catch you in a bit. Thank you.